What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 uh, video. Today, we have quite a big day in store. Obviously, we've got the new um, Freeze player in store, which I don't know who it's gonna be. I know it's a cam, but who that cam might be, I, I really don't know. I'd love to see a cam David Luiz today. That'd be really cool. Just a, a bit of a throwback to his, what, FIFA 18 CDM card? Maybe, maybe not, but no, we've got a Serge Nabry. A cam, holy. Wow. Yo, that's, uh, that is one hell of a card. That is one hell of a card. If that's not really expensive, I, uh, I don't know. But an 88 rated Cam Nabry, 88 pace. Obviously, he's got four star, four star, high, medium, five, nine. Kind of the perfect Cam, really. You know, German Bundesliga has got a great pace considering what he started with. It's obviously been boosted quite heavily. Uh, I might have to have a look at that in a second, but he's got really good shooting. 18, 85 overall, 85 finishing. Shot power 90, 86 long shots. Um, great passing, great dribbling as well, and actually really good physical. So that's actually a very good card. You could probably, you could probably do him and put striker. He may not be the quickest, um, but you could obviously put a hunter on him, that kind of stuff, and he actually might be quite good. So that's um, that's pretty decent. Let's see what kind of cost he's going to come in at. 84 and 86. So for the first time, I think in a long time, I can, I can confidently say this is probably one of the not so overpriced SPCs. I don't think this is overpriced at all. I mean, 84 without a team of the week and 86 without the team of the week. That's probably, oh, I don't know. Maybe, I want to kind of say maybe like, I think 86, like 100, 120K. And then 84 is probably about 60, 80. So I'm talking about 180, 200. And for that kind of card, that's not bad. I actually think, you know, considering what we had yesterday in this in this card, which was, I think, ridiculously overpriced for what he was. Um, you know, some people swear by him. Some people say he's really good, but I just don't. I just don't buy it. I just don't think he is. Uh, not for the value you pay anyway. Feels cheaper, sure. Can't argue with it. But this one, I think, for his price and for what he, what he offers, is uh, it's actually very, very good. A very, very good looking card. Um, so I think that's actually probably one of the one of the ones I think it's worth doing if you have a Bundesliga squad or a German squad that you can link him to plenty of players like Kai Havertz, Nab uh, Werner so very very good stuff of course we have the Erling Haaland player of the month uh, SPC which is about 300k it's about 300k um, it's actually not bad to be fair 84 85 and 85 as well with uh, team of the week two team of the weeks so yeah really not bad stuff and that card does look like a bit of a monster to be fair, a bit of a monster. Um, it's a bit of a shame I don't have a Bundesliga squad. Otherwise, he would he would be right in there. 99 shot power, 90 long shots, 94 finishing, 93 attack positioning. You know, passing's good besides long passing, but, you know, it, it's a bit irrelevant. Dribbling's good. Balance is a bit, bit may. Probably still turns like a bit of a truck. Pace is really good considering. Um, and yeah, physicals. I didn't realize he was so strong, like 97 strength. That's crazy. It's crazy. But yeah, impressive stuff to be fair. So I, I've got to give props to EA for once. I mean, this could have been a really incredibly overpriced SBC, um, having three or four segments to it, which I, I definitely could have seen happening. But, uh, you know, obviously if I'd known he was coming, that's what I would have expected. But uh, having two, 86 and 84, which he was, wasn't he? 84, 86, yeah, I don't think that's too bad at all. I really don't think, don't think that's too bad at all. Um, now, in the way of the puzzle SPC, we have Prime Mixed Players Pack. I think that's the one today. Wait, hold up. Hold, hold up. Wait a minute. Celebrate. Yo, okay. We're going to sack off the whole freeze challenge because it uh, looks like we've got some new... Um, Yo, did you, did you see that? It had like the icon thing now. It's weird. Any new leagues? No new leagues, but it looks like we've got some new icons by the looks of things. So, Sebastian Veron? No. Okay, what was that? So you just get a lone Maradona. That's really odd. Freeze challenge. Where is he? A lone Maradona and a rare players pack. Yo, that's so sick. That'll be that'll fit right into my Maradona series. To be fair, ninety-seven lone Maradona for seven games, one segment, and you get a, 
A 50k pack, untradeable, of course, but you get a 50k pack for it. Yo, that's decent. What do you have to do to complete it, though? A 73 rated squad. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Well, we're going to go away and complete this, and I'll be back in two seconds. Holy. 73 rated squad, 75 chemistry, rare players, one, Argentina, one. All right. So that is, uh, I, supposedly, that should be the SPC done. I'm just going to buy up this last player. Um, and there we are. Not too worried. Um, yeah, I don't want to gush too much because I want to give props to EA for this. This is this is the stuff I love to see. You know, lone players, you know, really good for friendlies, that kind of stuff. Obviously, I'd love to have 97 Maradona, you know, normal card. But we all know if that was released, it wouldn't be a 73 8 squad. It would be 24 segments. You'd have to give up your left toe, part of your leg, you know, your kidneys, that kind of stuff. It would be crazy. But uh, giving us a lone Maradona and a 50k pack for a 73 rated squad, it's piss easy. It, I love it. It's really good. I love these kind of SBCs where they don't, they don't charge you the rent of your house to do it. It's crazy. And you get something really cool for it. Celebrating Maradona's career, giving everyone a prime 97 Maradona for seven games as well. That's not, that's not, uh, you know, anything to be snuffed at. And of course, like I say, he's great for friendlies. Anything that requires maybe an Argentina player or icons or anything you can kind of get away with sticking this guy in there, that's great for it. And also you get a 50k pack as well. So that's incredible. I love to see it. You love to see it. So big ups for that. I think they've done really well today. Obviously, that's it in the way of SBCs, but I think they've done really, really well. Nabry SBC, I think, is actually somewhat decently priced. We'll check it out on Footbin in a second. Uh, I think it's decently priced. I think it's a good SBC. It's a good player. Um, and obviously, the Maradona one, it's really, really good. You love to see it. Anyway, I think that's the first time I've actually praised EA for actually doing something right. But, uh, you know, it is credit where credit's due. So... We've also got a freeze. Oh, got a freeze Volan. Now you love to see that. You do love to see that. I think that's, <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Striker to centre back. Um, I mean, face card value. It's actually card. His card looks like a really good centre back. Uh, 82 pace, 84 defending, 87 physical. Oh, well, okay, dribbling and uh, pretty decent passing. So you need assist three goals using defenders in the. Uh, Put live friendlies, masterpiece, managerial masterpiece. That's pretty cool. With at least eight league gun players as well. Um, assist four goals from crosses. It's a, bit, it's a bit dead, but it is what it is. Um, scoring eight separate matches using German players. That's not difficult, especially if you've got something like Werner or or something. Um, score two headers. That could be quite tricky, but uh, at least it's only two, so it's not terrible. And win five matches. I think that's really good. That's a, it's a really interesting card as well. I don't think it's the it's the most meta card, but for a centre back, it's pretty good. Uh, I don't know how tall Voland is, but I always thought he was quite a tall striker. He never was really that usable at striker, so why not? Why not throw him throw him in at centre back? That's pretty cool. We have a new teams by the looks of things. AC Milan versus Ajax relive the 1995 UCL final. AC Milan versus Ajax. I actually. Didn't continue reading that. Anyway, um, yeah, so Ajax or AC Milan, I don't think it really matters. I don't think it matters which one you choose because I think, I think you get the um, the packs regardless. But we're going to choose AC Milan, AC Milan because I should have chose Ajax. My name is Ajax. Oh, my God. Anyway, well, there you go. There's a big L on that one. Um, we also have... Uh, okay, so as you can see behind me just there, we have the Team 3. I'm sure you've already seen it roll past a few times as well. Uh, team 3 of um, the uh, Road to the Final players, which is very nice. We've got the likes of, obviously you can't see all of them there, but you can see uh, Wijnaldum got uh, Paul Pogba and Varane as well, which I think was uh, destined to happen. But uh, yeah, we've got Varane, we've got Wijnaldum, we've got uh, David Alaba, we've got uh, Julian Brandt. Cardi, Pogba, Insigne, um, João Cancelo, Tadic, Rebic, and Kubo. Some very, very interesting players as well in that team. Obviously, Man United now down to the Europa League, sadly. But uh, yeah, Paul Pogba's card, 87 rated, looks um, very, very nice. And of course, if he gets some upgrades, he could be a very, very decent card. Um, 
I think the chances of Man U going quite far in the Europa League is quite high, in my opinion. I think they're going to do quite well, unless they, you know, completely shit the bed and bottle it. I, I can't see them not uh, getting a few upgrades. Xiao Cancelo, very nice looking right back as well, 86 rated, um, very good looking card. Icardi, not so much, not so usable. Brandt looks all right. Um, David Alaba, he looks good as well. Wijnaldum, he looks good. And Varane obviously looks like a, uh, looks like a very, very dirty card. Very dirty. Uh, 84 pace, 89 defending, 84 physicals. Like, he didn't need an upgrade and they've gone and done it. But also, as seen behind me just there, got the rest of the prime icons by the looks of it. Um, I believe that's the rest of them. That has to be because they released 51, I think it was, last time. And now they've released, the oh yeah, the remaining uh, 50 prime icons. Obviously, Zuzu Zidane. Incredible looking card. We got uh, Cruyff, Maldini, and obviously the rest of them as well. Um, very good stuff. So, got a few packs in store. Got a few few packs in store. See if we can get ourselves a prime icon. Obviously not. Uh, it'd be nice to see if I can get one of these Road to the Final players. That would be cool. I would, uh, I would like that quite a lot. Don't know if it's going to happen though. But uh, yeah, so... I don't know. If I had to get one, I'd love, obviously, that Paul Pogba. I think he's the most um, most valuable. He's going to be mad expensive. But um, I do think he's probably the most... Obviously, besides Varane, obviously, and maybe Wijnaldum, I think Liverpool might do quite well. And Jao Cancelo, I know I'm kind of picking all the Prem, but I do think they're they're the more valuable. Um, David Alaba, I think, as well, is, is one up there with Bayern. Um, you know, obviously, I think... They won it last time, so it's in for a shout. It's definitely in for a shout, so who knows at this point? Who knows, but uh, yeah, so good uh, good stuff. Get rid of those. Do have some fairly big packs in store. I did, I did save up a few for um, Team of the Year, but I really can't be bothered. I mean, the chances of us getting a Team of the Year is very, very unlikely, so it really doesn't matter. No walk, no walk out, no boards. You love to see it. No walk out. It is boards, though. You do love to see it. French. Striker. Ooh, yo, Anthony Martial. I wonder if he's tradable. I wonder if it's tradable. Is he still expensive? Is he still expensive is the question. It is tradable. Let's go. Wow, he's come down massively. But he is like... He is like 30k. So, I'll take that. 30k I had more than uh, I had a few minutes ago. So, definitely take that. Prime Electrum Players Pack. Come on. EA Sports, please deliver us one of these orange or blue cards. You would love to see it, not today. Oh, wait, hold up. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we get Voland. There we go. At least now we can see how tall he is. Five foot ten, so as a centre back, unless they've increased his height, um, it's not terrible to be fair. It's not terrible, especially for a card you can play for. It's not awful, but obviously he's gonna have, he's gonna have um, a massive defending boost. Would uh, would be quite interesting to see quite what they've done with that, but um, yeah. What are the chances? What are the chances to get Volland? You do love to see it. You do love to see it. No walkout. No boards. Wow. Do have a couple of mega packs though that we got saved. So you never know. Could get something half half nice out of these. Nothing. It is a boards though. We'll skip it because um, most likely somebody quite dead. And I was correct. So it is an 83, I guess. It's an 83. So I can't totally complain. But um, yeah, you don't want to see that. That's a bit of a shame. They usually... Okay, it's not. I think it's the other one, isn't it? It's cam to centre mid that's quite expensive. Um, cool. Okay. Make pack number two. Can this one give us a little bit more, a little bit more luck? I mean, A3s are quite nice and stuff. Boards, but uh, it is a boards. Damn. Is that an inform? Argentina. Goalkeeper. It's going to be Martinez. Very, very nice. You know, ex-Arsenal boy. You do love to see it. Do you love to see it? Um, it is tradable as well. Does he... It's also 10k. It could be worth... Ah, oh, jeez. Could be worth just holding on to him, to be fair. 50k pack. So what we got obviously for the Maradona one. Can it give us one of these orange or blue cards or a walkout would be nice. 
A walkout would be very, very nice. It's not walkout. Supports though. It's another inform. Romanian. Right back from Dynamo. Is that Dynamo? I genuinely don't know. I mean, look at that pace though. Holy. Could actually be quite a good right, right back in fairness. Yo, we've got Serge Nabry as well. That's pretty decent. 85, 82. Taliska. Got Fabian as well. Not the greatest 50k pack, but um, 99 stamina, 95 pace as well. I mean, arguably, he's actually probably quite a trash right back, but um, can't argue with that, I suppose. Can't argue with that. We've got an 85 as well, so I suppose that's not, um, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I, I've got to give props to EA. Um, obviously, you know, the, the, the team in packs is, is one thing, but uh, objectives... Objectively, we've had a really nice objective player. We've got some really nice SBCs, a very nicely priced Serge Nabry, which I think is uh, is really good good stuff, to be fair. You do love to see it. Um, a really nice Maradona SBC. Free, well, a free Maradona to use on seven games is just insane. Um, and then you get a 50k pack as well. So I, I think there's a lot, of, a lot of good stuff going there as well. Yeah. I just hopefully, I don't know, I just hopefully they can continue it going forward. Obviously, I don't know how many more of these player SBCs we're going to get. But, um, yeah, if they continue down this road, just continue them being somewhat cheap and affordable and actually obtainable. That'd be really nice. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Good stuff from EA today. Hopefully it continues. But, uh, yeah, that's today's video. Hopefully you have enjoyed. Um, I do apologize. Uh, I do apologize about this being slightly late. It's just um, had a bit of a bit of a melty day so got onto this a bit late but um hopefully you enjoyed nonetheless if you did please do drop it a like that'd be very very much appreciated if you want to see more of this content do hit that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family we're doing very i think we're doing quite well with daily content so far um obviously doing this uh 6 p.m daily content every single day bringing you everything that's new in the game and you know bringing my opinion on a lot of the things that um that are in the game at the moment uh, and of course hopefully once this stops we'll, we will be bringing back the road to glory and all the other series draft to glory and everything as well it's just a bit it's a bit difficult to fit it in all at once but um yeah hopefully enjoyed um with that said uh, i do hope you enjoyed um thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time